Okay, so in this video we're moving into our counting methods portion of the topic um, and that is chapter 10 and this is a very simple, very short video, um, a very quick concept that um, we've actually been doing quite intuitively throughout all our probability questions before now but it's really helpful to kind of clarify. Um, it helps you to, to get things right as you're working out probability problems and in particular counting methods problems. So let's just think through these examples and then draw together the ideas. So on Monday, Jane can't decide whether to wear a shirt or a jumper. Um, she has three shirts and five jumpers. How many choices does she have on Monday? So she's going to wear a shirt or a jumper, which means she can choose, She has a total of three plus five, eight tops to choose from. Okay, so she won't wear a combination of them. She's deciding whether to wear a shirt or a jumper. So oh, in total, then she's got eight choices. On Tuesday, Jane can't decide between wearing a skirt or jeans. She has two pairs of jeans and three skirts. How many choices does she have on Tuesday? So she's either going to wear one of the two pairs of jeans or one of the three skirts, which means she's got five choices for her bottom half in total on Tuesday. So she's not going to wear a combination of jeans and skirts. She's wearing a skirt or jeans, which means we can add together the number of jeans and the number of skirts to work out the total number of choices. That's the key. On Wednesday, Jane has decided to wear jeans and a t-shirt. She can choose from her blue or black jeans and from white, red or black t-shirts. How many outfits can she choose from on Wednesday? Okay, so this time it's not just, so she's got two choices of jeans and she's got three choices of t-shirts, okay? It's not just about adding together two and three because she's not going to wear jeans or a t-shirt, she's going to wear jeans and a t-shirt which means she could, if she chooses the blue jeans, she's got three t-shirt choices, so that's three outfits. Or she could choose the black jeans, she's got three t-shirt choices to go with black, so that's another three outfits, so it's six outfits in total. What we're actually doing is two times three to get six choices. So one of the key things in being able to frame your sentences correctly and then accurately convert them into the right maths is, generally speaking, when we would use the word or, we would add the options together or add the probabilities together okay whereas when we would use the word and we're going to need to multiply those choices together or multiply the probabilities together okay so if she can wear um, you know two jeans or three skirts we're going to add because we're using the word or if she can wear two two jeans and three t-shirts we're going to multiply those because we're using the word and that's the extent of this exercise. It's a very short, quick exercise. Um, and so you should be able to get that done efficiently and move straight on to the next section.